Hey, what is up Wolfpack? It's me, Cal here, and today we have a little bit of new information and a lot of new gameplay to share with you guys about SM2, which is an upcoming modded version of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 exclusive to PC. Not officially released by Activision or anything, but a group of people are working on this kind of modded version of MW2. It's uh, just to summarize what it's about. Uh, you guys can check out the, f the my other videos in the playlist and top card above right now if you want to see all about SM2, all the details, gameplay, everything, and updates throughout the year, basically. We shouldn't expect this game to come out this year is probably going to come out next year is my assumption but uh, what it is essentially just to give a long story short is the best of all call of duty games put into modern warfare 2 so maps guns etc systems kill streaks all that good stuff that's just the summary basically like call of duty online that's in that was exclusive to china that was shut down a while back but we are much anticipating the wait but they did release some new gameplay as you're going to get to see in the background here we have some gameplay of search and destroy and the first thing we can actually notice is towards the beginning of the gameplay, they're actually in the lobby, and we get to see a little bit of the lobby. You guys can watch this full gameplay raw on their channel, SM2's YouTube channel, if you guys want to check it out for yourself. But you can see the lobby looks pretty cool. We have seen some more about the lobby in other videos as well, but you can see loadout settings, lobby. It looks very cool. I can't wait to get my hands on my own lobbies in this game, to be fair, because as you guys remember if in a previous video I showed off, you can actually customize the color scheme and layout and stuff of your kind of menu so I, I can't wait for that it's just the colors and accents it's gonna, it's gonna be great to fully customize it to your own liking but yeah in the background you're gonna get to see some gameplay of sm2 it's still work in progress still development phase but uh some cool gameplay it it is mw2 but heavily modded of course and it just looking at the gameplay it looks like classic search and destroy all the sounds the bombs just everything it looks classic and i can't wait to try it out for myself to be honest it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun and i love the hud design right now if you guys look at the kill streaks on the right side the map just the the score in the top and everything i really like it looks very clean and very modern you could say and to be honest the feels i get from the gameplay in the background reminds me a lot of i have to say modern warfare 3. it looks like modern warfare 3 like it, if you're looking at this game, Search and Destroy, with all the different maps and different weapons and stuff, it honestly looks like MW3, which is crazy because this is MW2. I know MW3 doesn't look too different from MW2, but MW3 does have a distinct feel in comparison. Also, some of the maps they're playing on, I vaguely remember. I don't even remember some of these. Maybe there's some like DLC maps out there that I actually didn't get to play, maybe in like MW3's days. I didn't get to play all the DLC maps, but uh, very memorable maps out there for sure. While you guys are enjoying some of that Search and Destroy gameplay in the background, I do have a little bit more clips and other gameplay to show you guys and other stuff to show you. But while the gameplay is going, let's just talk about some of the weapon changes they've made. So in a previous video on SM2, I did discuss all the weapons that are being added in the game, but they have made some changes and replaced different weapons in different things, significant changes. So let's hop right in and I'm just going to read you guys the weapon list real quick. You can use the time bar to skip ahead if you guys don't really care about the weapons, you just want to skip to other parts of the video. But let's hop into this. So, for assault rifles, there's going to be the AK-47 from Modern Warfare Remastered, the AUG from Modern Warfare 2's Campaign Remastered, the BAL-27 from Advanced Warfare, the Commando from Black Ops 1, the FAMAS from Black Ops 1, the Galil from Black Ops 3, the HBRA-3 from Advanced Warfare, the Honey Badger from Ghosts, and the M4A-1 from Modern Warfare 2's Campaign Remastered, and lastly the Maddox RFB from Black Ops 4. Now there is a handful of other assault rifles that are classified currently and still not. Uh, shown off quite yet. Now next up we have tactical rifles. There's going to be the ARX-160 from Ghosts, the FAL from MW2's Campaign Remastered, the G3 from MWR, which is COD4 Remastered, and the MSBS from Ghosts. Also the SWAT-556 from Black Ops 2, and the Type 95 from COD Online. There's also more classified ones that are to be announced. Onto the SMGs, we're getting the AK-74U from Black Ops 3, the CUDA from Black Ops 3, the MP-40 from COD World War 2, the MP-5 from MWR, the MSMC from Black Ops 2, the Pharaoh from Black Ops 3, the PP-90M1 from MW3, the SOG 9mm from Black Ops 4, the Vector from MW2's Campaign Remastered, and the VMP from Black Ops 3, and a bunch of other SMGs that are classified to be announced. 
Next up into the light machine guns, we're getting the Ameli from Ghosts, the Dingo from Black Ops 3, the M27 IAR from Ghosts, and the Stoner 63 from Black Ops 1. And there's about four more LMGs that are still classified. Next up, we have Marksman Rifles. There's going to be the D25S from MWR, the Draken from Black Ops 3, and the SVU from Ghosts, with another four Marksman Rifles to be announced. All right, next up is Sniper Rifles, kind of a big category for a lot of people, I assume. There's going to be the Barrett 50 Cal from MWR, the Dragoon from Black Ops 3, the DSR 50 from Black Ops 2, the Intervention from MW2's Campaign Remastered, the Lynx from Advanced Warfare, the M40A3 from MWR, the STAC Aggressor from MWR, and the Springfield from COD World War II. And there is a bunch more sniper rifles that are classified yet to be announced and added. So that is exciting to see if you guys are a fan of sniper rifles, there's going to be a lot. Moving on to handguns, we're going to be getting the 44 Magnum from Ghosts, the Desert Eagle from Call of Duty Online, the 5.7 from Black Ops 2, the 1911 from Modern Warfare Remastered, the M1 Irons from Advanced Warfare, the M9 from MWR, the RW1 from Advanced Warfare, and the USP45 from MWR. A lot of MWR pistols in there, but they did have a lot. And then there's still three more pistols that are classified and soon to be announced. Next up for the machine pistols, a whole separate category it seems, we're going the FMG-9 from MW3, the Procolot from MWR, and the RK-5 from Black Ops 3, with about five more machine pistols to be announced. Next up, the shotguns, the 205 Brecci, that's right, the Brecci from Black Ops 3, the Bulldog from Ghosts, the Kamchatka 12 from MWR, the Model 1887 from MW2's Campaign Remastered, the Spaz 12 from MW2's Campaign Remastered, the Stakeout from Black Ops 1, and the TAC-12 from Ghosts with about five more shotguns to be announced. Don't worry, there's a few more categories left, guys. <laughs> Next up is the launchers. We're getting the China Lake from Black Ops 1, the M320 GLM from MW3, and the Panzerfaust from Ghosts, with about five more launchers to be announced. And getting into special weapons, there's three special weapons it shows. Two of them are classified, but the one they do show us is the Ballistic Knife from Black Ops 2, which is awesome. Ballistic Knife from Black Ops 2 is obviously the best. And lastly, we have melee weapons. They're going to be adding the Baseball Bat from God World War II, the CQB Bayonet from MWR, the Karambit from MWR, the Machete from MWR, and the OMSK Hammer from MWR, with a bunch more classified melee weapons as well to be announced. Now that is the current most up-to-date weapons list from their website, if you guys want to check it out for yourself. Now, with all the weapons out of the way, let's hop into some other stuff. So on screen right now, you're going to be able to see a clip of the DSR that we were just talking about. This is gameplay that people, they were messing around in a private match playing some of the devs, just testing out stuff. And they, um, they're using the DSR, I got a couple quick scopes off of the DSR. It's cool to see the DSR on an MW2 map in a gameplay HUD and system that looks more similar to like Ghost or MW3 and it, it all looks really good and I can't wait to get my hands on the DSR50 and SM2. It looks really good and really clean so that's nice to see. And next up you're going to see another clip. This is a clip of another weapon that's going to be in the game and I don't exactly remember what game this is from. This is either Infinite Warfare or it's COD Online. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What is this gun from? It's either Infinite Warfare or COD Online. It might be Infinite Warfare, but I didn't play too much of it to be fair, so I wouldn't really know. But that's just showing off another weapon. And then we actually got all of the prestige icons. I don't know if it's all of them, but they did show off a, quite a lot of prestige icons for the game and a bunch of other stuff. So on screen really quickly here, you can see there's going to be Prestige icons, calling cards, and emblems in the top, and then they're going to have at least prestige icons from COD 4, World at War, MW2, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, Ghost, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, COD World War 2, and Black Ops 4. <laughs> It's awesome to see all these prestiges up to Prestige 10. I wonder if they're going to go above Prestige 10 or if they're just going to kind of like go to Prestige 10 and then you go to rank 1000 after that. I think they did say that. You go to Prestige 10 and then go to 1000 after that. I believe that was said before, but don't count me on that. But uh, I think that was the case. But yeah, besides that, they've been quiet, keeping their heads down, hard at work on SM2, it seems, because uh, this is kind of little bits of information trickling out here and there. Those clips are throughout the past, like, month or so. So sorry it's been a little while since we have, have had an update, but obviously the holidays are coming in. We'll probably get a lot more information next year, because I assume, just assuming, SM2 is probably going to come out sometime next year in 2022. But this is really cool information, guys. Let me know what you guys think, and let me know what you guys would change or want to see in SM2 yourself. 
and be sure to check out their website link down below if you guys want to check everything out all the details everything join their discord to stay up to date as possible or even follow them on twitter but thank you all for tuning in if you guys enjoyed or found this useful be sure to smash that like button subscribe for more and we'll catch you guys next time peace out